I think, um, like, <laughs> there is no easy answer to your question, and there's no easy answer to the problem. We got into this through 30 years of incremental bad decisions that made things marginally worse, and we've got to start making decisions that make things marginally better. I think that I think the bill signed recently will help do that, and I think that was a very important part of the assault weapons ban. More than it didn't really ban AR-15s, um, but what it did was codify a societal stigma about what was acceptable and what wasn't acceptable. We have these norms, just like we used to have in our politics. What you um, what you thought was okay and what you thought was decent and what you thought wasn't, and we those sorts of norms and um, lines across which we should not step have just been totally erased, they feel like to me. Like anything's okay, you know, scream it. I've seen school board meetings here, like good, well-meaning, dedicated, volunteer public servants being screamed at as if they're like Satan himself over or just trying to do the right thing for kids. Like our, our norms of decency have been totally erased. So I think we have to insist we could start with guns and just let's just agree that um, marketing a Boogaloo boy's rifle, not okay. Armed intimidation, screaming at kids at a Black Lives Matter rally, not okay. Um, you know, marching on the Capitol with come and take an AR-15 flags, not okay. And we can stand up. We all have people in our circles that could use a reminder of that. And, and to, your, to your example about the conservation meetings, I know our people don't like to confront people. I know they don't. But we're going to have to find the courage to do it. How do you get the industry to <laughs> come at this a different way when it's been so effective and lucrative? Well, and the NRA. in a democracy like ours, there's two ways to do it. It's either voluntary or it's regulatory. So if it can't be voluntary, which it once was not very long ago, then there's going to have to be more regulation. And that's one of the points I tried to make to my gun industry friends. Like, um, There are things that we know we're doing that are wrong that are going to lead to bad things. We should get them under control. Like, you should think about this as a pro-gun thing. You should want to do this before it gets regulated on you. You should want to do the responsible thing, like the industry used to do, before it's regulated upon us.